gang? So, coming back at you at a, another fine episode of Inside the Coach's Brain Podcast. We're back with Dawn again. We have video once again. Hi. Maybe, I don't know, we went with the non-fisheye lens this time, so we'll see how it goes. Um, kind of watching it here on the little camera as we're looking at it. looks like it kind of goes in and out of focus depending on how we move, so this could be a fun ride. <laughs> Hopefully you don't get motion sick. Hopefully you don't get motion sick. I don't. It's not. It's on a tripod, so it's not going to be bouncy. It just might be a little in and out, depending on how we, how fast we move our heads, or if our legs move, or I don't know. It is what it is. I don't know, gang. We'll figure it out. We'll figure uh, it you out. can throw some comments in the YouTube world and uh, maybe help us out, and we'll figure out what's going on there. Always remember, don't forget to like, like, subscribe, follow, follow. share. You can definitely comment on YouTube, so get your comments in there. Uh, if you have any questions, it's a great place to get some chatter going. We might respond. We will actually absolutely respond. I think I responded to everybody last Did week. Did you? Yeah. Oh, okay. You responded to every single person. Because I don't see any of it. So. All, all three of you. <laughs> I think our subscribers are up to six. That's not true. We have more than that. So maybe, maybe next year we can get our YouTube subscribers up, to, up in the teens. We have more than that. <laughs> not really. Um, but that's okay. You know, we do these videos so that our children one day can be a founding YouTube member. Can, can see her. can see us on camera, and we this is all we do at the house. We just show them videos of us talking on YouTube, and they're just like, "Mama, Papa, <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> on TV." Uh, sorry, now we're here to talk about today. So we're going to do kind of hopefully a somewhat shorter, okay, podcast today episode TV thing. Um, yeah. We don't, I don't know what to call these things. Uh, vlog. Vlog. It's not a vlog because it's not a, it's not a day, you know, it's not a video. I don't know. I don't think this would be a vlog. It's a YouTube video. Okay. Or it's just a podcast that's a talking on head. YouTube. Yeah. It's a video podcast. Because they're all doing it now. Like Rich Roll and Casey, Casey Nines. They're all doing podcasts. Yeah. It's a video podcast. Nobody knows who these people Even, are. Even, um. Nobody knows who these people are. Okay. Fine. Joe Rogan. He nobody knows is, is a podcast, but he also puts it on YouTube so he can get YouTube and. Yeah. But nobody knows. Nobody watches this stuff. They don't watch it, but they know who he is. Yeah. Do they? He has uh, like 17 million followers. So somebody's got to know who he nobody is. Nobody knows who it's Joe Rogan is. Uh, nobody yeah. has three hours of their time to listen to you, him. I think you made up that name. Okay. Absolutely. All right. So going into today, into the meat of what we're going to talk about today. Today, we, we have a fun challenge coming up at the gym in the month of January. So this is a timely episode. If you don't, if you watch this one, like, you know, six months from now, it might not make a lot of sense. But in the the chronological order of how these things are going to go. It's going to make a lot of sense. So coming up in the month of January, we are going to do the hardest challenge, gym challenge we've done yet. Yep. We've mm-hmm. we've done a mile a day challenge, and those have been a lot of fun. We've had a lot of participation. We've done 100 push-ups a day. We've done 200 air squats a day. We've done double unders. We've mm-hmm. done all sorts of things. But, you know, I think those, you know, ultimately we came out to 10 minutes of work a day, give or take, yeah. depending on your mile time. Um, this one we're going to get into is going to be 100 miles for the month of January. 31 days. That's 31 days. If you're doing the math on it, it's slightly over a 5K per day. It's like a 5.22 miles or 3.22 miles a day for the month of January, 31 days to get that done. Um, But that doesn't make you go, holy crap, that's kind of hard. Then you probably run too much anyway. Um. Granted, there's people that run 100 miles in 20 hours, so it can be done in one day. The I would not recommend that. Um, part of the reason uh, I wanted to, we wanted to do this 100 mile a day challenge, 100 miles for the month challenge is wanted to put something out there that's attainable, but really freaking hard, right? Um, in order to do this, you're going to have to be a little dedicated. You're going to have to fight through soreness. You're going to have to fight through your brain telling you you don't want to do it. Right there's there's some things that are gonna have to go on there in order. You're gonna, there's gonna be some sacrifices. You're gonna have to plan. You're gonna have to plan. You're gonna have to be a little proactive in how this goes. If you wait till you know if you miss the first week, it's gonna get really tough. Mm-hmm. Not saying you can't recover after the first week. Yeah, you can absolutely recover. The not saying you can't go out of town. Not saying you can't live your life normally. You're just gonna have to you know maybe take your running shoes with you mm-hmm. or plan to do a couple extra miles early on. Right. For me, what I would probably recommend is I think if I'm looking at it and I'm saying I'm going to do this, the 3.2 a day is kind of a overwhelming number for me to be like, hey, I need to do this every day. So I know early on, my plan is probably going to be to kind of stockpile some miles. That's a good idea. So instead of 3.2, I might do four miles a day, Mm -hmm. right, early on. That way, 
you know, every week I've now I've made up an if, extra five miles. If the Jags go to the Super Bowl. Yeah, well, Jags go to the Super Bowl, but that's going to be in February. Oh, okay. Yeah, obviously. But maybe like, you know, Playoffs, you AFC mean. championship game, right. you know, stuff like that might might derail it a little bit. But, you know, we'll, we'll get we'll get there when we get there. Um, what about you, Don? What do you think, you know, strategy-wise, what do you think? And that's a little bit we want to give tips and tricks here. Kind of how would you think about going about this? Is there a is there a way you can, in your brain, make it a little bit easier number and kind of a easier to do? Yeah. So um, my advice would probably be a, just just a plan. Plan on it. You know, taking 30, 40 minutes. Like, make sure you set that aside. Either I would get it, personally, I would get it done as early as possible in the day. Um, yeah. Don't wait until later in the day to get it done. But obviously, if that what your schedule looks like and other things, um, that would be my biggest situation i also am planning on trying to get as many miles in ahead of time as i can like early on in the month um just because things happen i mean when it's take in, advantage of it when you have the opportunity to. i mean quite frankly when it's the end of january and you have 20 miles left you're not going to want to go run you know seven miles in the cold rain yeah but you know when you had plenty of good days to you could have knocked some out yeah um remember again even if it's you will use the 3.2 miles a day. For most people, that's 30 minutes of running a day. It's 30 minutes of activity. It's not a ton. Yeah, no, and, you know, take your spouse with you, take your kid with you on your spouse's bike or something, and just get it done. Yeah, put a podcast in, you know, maybe this one. Um, put, us, put some music in, have a good time. Um, the planning, right, when in the day are you going to do it, how far are you going to go each day, you know, and these things you got to, you're going to have to work around and compartmentalize and make sure they're, they're happening mm -hmm. right in order to get this done. The, for me, I think, I think how I personally am going to want to do it is probably going to be break it up into two sessions a day. Just the way my schedule works. Is that going to be allowed? Yeah, that'd be allowed. Okay. You can, so yeah, daily S sessions don't matter. Three, so 3.22 a day. No. Or I mean. Okay. 100 for the month. In total. Okay. So doesn't it doesn't matter how you... It doesn't you, have to be all... Okay. Yeah. That it makes... Okay. Yeah. I would, you know, if you're tracking that on your phone or an app or however, just make sure you're keeping a log of... Yeah, yeah. ...of how many miles you ran. So that way at the end of the month, you're not guessing. You didn't forget a day. You didn't... Your watch didn't start. So you now you don't have that mileage. You know, make sure you're keeping an accurate log. My best advice would be probably post it. <laughs> Put it on social media. Yeah. That way it's there and it stays. Take a video of it. Take a... How many did that day or whatever. Yeah. That's a good idea. Kind of come at it with different angles on that. Um, I know like for us, we use like a Garmin watch and that'll keep a log, mm -hmm. you know, day in, day out pretty pretty easily about our mileage, which is nice as long as the watch has got battery. iPhone does the same thing. As long as you remember to turn it on. Yeah. You take your phone with you. It'll turn it on. It'll probably tell you it's it's got it going too. Um, and you can track that pretty easily. Yeah, but for me, I think if I did, in my mind, I can do two miles in the morning, I can do two miles in the afternoon, and I can break that up into two sessions, and it's neither one of them are really all that difficult. Oh, that's a game changer if you can, yeah, yeah. If you're doing it in two different sessions. Yeah, you can, and, you know, and for me, it, it's just so it's not too overly exerting too early, and I can knock out four miles a day Yeah, and then kind of move on. And I think that's, you know, and I know in my schedule, I'm, I know for a fact I'm out of town for five or six days in January. Mm -hmm. So that's going to, and I'm going somewhere where I'm probably not going to run mm -mm. at all. Skiing doesn't count, friends. Yeah, skiing doesn't count. So, you know, finding those spots and how that's going to work out. And I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to bank those days so that I have them and I have them ready to go. And the holiday party. Holiday party. Um, you know, that that's in the evening. You should be able to run no problem for that. And then it's just going to be. Yeah. Getting towards the, you know, maybe the next day might be a little tough. Who knows? Um, and remember, maybe on that day you go later in the day. Maybe on that day you go later in the day. So remember, with 100 miles, you can break this up however you want. We would like to see you at least making an effort to run. If you're, I don't run, I don't run, I don't run, you know, then it might need to be a walk. I'm here for like a uh, run, walk, splits type of deal. Run, walk, splits. Yeah. That's fine. If you know you can run and you're a runner, run. Run. If you know you have injuries, you have things, you have knees that just, they don't take it anymore, maybe it's a brisk walk. All right? You know, maybe we find that. Maybe talk to one of us and we'll help you come up with a plan for the best yeah. way to progress through this thing. Yeah, like a two and two or a four and two or something like that. Yeah, we can, we can definitely help you come up with a plan. We're happy to do it. Just reach out to us. Send us a comment on YouTube. Send us a text message. However you typically contact us, go ahead and do that, and we can get with you on that. Yeah, I think. Um, yeah, yes. Okay. Yeah. So, that being said, do you plan on any big days? Well, 
fam. Um, yeah, Dawn's training for a race. I'm training for a pretty sizable race. Um, so this will be a good little like kickoff. Well, I mean, I've been kind of, but this will be a good kickoff to get a little bit more mileage in during the during one yeah. session at a time. Yeah. So Crazy Dawn's gonna do a is gonna do a what a 100 k. Yeah, 63 in, miles. 63 miles in one day. I think she has what 30 hours to do it. Yeah, I would like to get under like 24. Yes, yeah, so we'd like to. So I could day. sleep. <laughs> I think I think currently slated, I'm going to be your pacer for the last 20 miles. So I, somehow or another, I have to still go run 20 miles on this thing. So should be fun. Um, in no way, shape, or form had anything to do with our 100 mile challenge. It's just happy coincidence. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I I think you know in January you probably should work up to at least like a 10, 15 or maybe. Yeah. I'll, yeah, I'd like a 15 at least just to test that equipment. Yep. And then going into it, also guys, a couple things to think about. Last couple points, we're going to wrap this up is. Train for this in January. Do this in January. It's going to be a great way to kickstart your year. See if you can do it. See what you're made of. Kind of mentally tough. Get through this thing. There's, it's going to be physically challenging, but it's going to be more mentally challenging, I think, as the month wears on when your body's not wanting to. And can you get through it and that sort of thing when it gets hard? Absolutely a mental challenge. 100%. Mm-hmm. At mental, the end. mental challenge. You know, kind of test and see where, you're, see where your head's at. But that'll also lead us into February. I think in February, we have locally, we have the... 26.2 at Donna, the marathon, half marathon for breast cancer. Yep. It's a big event out here at the beach. Mm-hmm. Um, so doing that. we'll have people running in that. So if you, you know, that kind of can train you right up into that. And then in March, we have the river run. We'll try and get a big group out for that. Which I, yeah, we'll probably run that yeah. again. You know, the river runs only 9.3 miles. Only it's nine points. Great. It's, it's a good a, run. It's a great race. It's fun. It's all through downtown and uh, surrounding neighborhood San Marco and stuff. It's a great, it's a great run. It's a huge, huge event. It's actually the 15K national championship, I believe. Yep. Yeah. So it's a it's a good time. Um, and you know, if you've done 100 miles in January, chances are your mileage is already up high enough. You'll be you'll be more than ready to go for that one. Um, other than that, if you have questions, comments, concerns, reach out to us in the comments. Shoot us a text message. Call us. Write us a letter. Don't write me a letter. Um, Listen, I love letters. I just can, don't like writing them. You can write Donna a letter. Just do not expect a response. All right. <laughs> good luck finding a stamp. Yeah, good luck finding a stamp. They still make those things? Yeah, you can buy them at Publix. Did you know that? Stamps? Yeah. That's so, it's so convenient. I feel like email just like got rid of mail. Nah. Nah. All right. Uh, guys, that was a nice short one. Again, 100 mile challenge in January. We're super stoked for this one. Hope everybody gets involved in this one. You'll hear us pestering you over the next couple weeks at the gym to get your button gear and get signed up for it. Other than that, we will see you guys on the next episode. Peace. Woo!